Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I've got here the Upanishads, one of the Hindu scriptures, and I'm going to read from the Amrita Bindu Upanishad in verse 5. It says, practice meditation, stop all vain talk. Verse 7 says, keep repeating the ancient mantra, Om, until it reverberates in your heart. Now this term mantra or mantra is something that's pretty important in Hinduism and Buddhism. You'll hear it a lot. And some of them are just as short as one syllable, just the om. But others are a little bit longer, a full sentence or a phrase. It's something that is just chanted over and over again. Sometimes they're even just chanted in a foreign language that no one even understands. And nobody knows what they even mean. Like nobody really knows what om means, for example. But what does the Bible say about chanting vain repetitions like that? It's funny because it said, well, stop all vain talk, but just keep chanting the mantra, Om. Okay, well, let's see what the Bible says. In Matthew 6, 7, it says, But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. Well, who are the heathen? Hindus, Native Americans, Buddhists, pagans of all stripes. When you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. So the Bible is really clear that chanting does not get us anywhere with God. In fact, we're commanded not to chant. Now what's strange about this is that some branches of Christianity have adopted this pagan chanting from the Hindus and the Buddhists. For example, the Orthodox Church has these monks who will just literally spend hours and hours chanting over and over again, Jesus Christ, Son of God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Jesus Christ, Son of God, be merciful to me, the sinner. And they'll just keep chanting that for hour upon hour upon hour. And they think it makes them more spiritual, brings them closer to God. They think that they're going to be heard for their much speaking. Roman Catholics will chant Hail Marys and they'll chant Our Fathers and so forth. Why? Because they've been influenced by the heathen, the pagans. And if you look at Hinduism, you'll see that they have beads where they literally count off the mantras that they're chanting and the prayers that they pray. They count them on beads. Hmm, does that sound familiar? Yeah, the Roman Catholic Church has borrowed that pagan practice of using beads to count their prayers directly from the Hindus. The whole practice of having monasteries and monks and nuns all comes out of Buddhism. So the Hindu scriptures tell you to chant mantras over and over again, whereas the Bible tells us to avoid vain repetitions.